I do believe that there must be understanding between cultures, but that, let that understanding not go to the extreme of condoning practices that may be harmful to people within the same culture, or in any way allow the conscience of the international community to abandon those within that culture who are fighting to ward off the harmful practices that are thought of as culture, but are not really a part of what positive culture should mean. If I could maybe build on what, what Hina was saying, I remember when I was serving as UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, and you'd get a challenge, you know, your human rights are Western values, they're not our values. But actually, I found that it was mainly leaders who were not very open and uh, available to their population who would say that. When you went and talked to people in the civil society, they wanted, um, but they wanted it to be expressed in their cultural terms, very often spiritual, religious terms, but nonetheless they wanted the values, the freedoms. And I think it's very good to uh, have that kind of open discussion um, on human rights, on gender equality, but understand that it has to be embedded in the broader spiritual and identity culture of the country, and it'd be much stronger if it is.